here's how you become a successful poke youtuber in two simple steps step one take two sets of pokemon cards one of the sets should be slightly older should have an extremely brutal pull rate and maybe a popular chase card say for example chilling rain where the top chase card the blaziken v max has a pull rate of about one in 800 packs now pair this with another set that is readily available to you it should have a slightly better pull rate and be generally overlooked by people so that when they see it they should be like oh i totally forgot about this set step number two take the names of both of these sets and mash them up into somewhat of a dad joke chilling rift paradox rain chilling paradox so welcome to the opening of this never heard or never seen before set of chilling paradox <laughs> i'm just kidding guys you know i'm not a hater i'm just doing this for fun uh, it seems to be a trend right now where everybody just mashes up these sets and opens up like a bunch of these boxes and there's actually a reason i've picked up chilling rain and paradox rift and i'm going to explain that while we get into these packs so let's begin with some chilling rain this set really went up in price after they announced that they're going to stop printing it and people were scrambling to pick up um, booster boxes and sealed products so i had these lying around for a while and as we all know the chilling rain pull rates are extremely extremely brutal so right now uh, apart from the fact that it is out of circulation it is generally considered something that you shouldn't open and keep sealed because i guess the value is just in it being sealed along with these weird you know green code cards which i'm sure have no hits i just thought that out of all the things that i have in my inventory chilling rain and paradox rift had like the coolest sounding name you know chilling paradox so the reverse we get is a whirlpeed followed by a rain. there you go curse of the green code card if there is first pack magic is there something like first pack bad luck whoa that opened up way too easily these were all loose packs that i picked up from somewhere okay not a green code card so that's a good sign i'm not sure what i want to do with that booster box uh, might break it mm, might just keep it sealed but i went back recently to some of those old uh, chilling rain videos to remember what the pull rates were like and i came across a danny phantom video that said that the mm, hit rate for um, the alt art v max is like one in 864 packs which is insane but you can see like this is a brutal, brutal set. Honestly, it's just clickbait. All right, let's just be on. Let's be real. You guys have your chilling rain lying around. You guys don't want to open it. And you come online and you see this crazy, weird noob collector who's just going and ripping packs and, you know, essentially flushing money down the drain. So if you do enjoy this type of content, please make sure to leave a like. You know, I will look at the feedback and we'll do more if you guys seem to like this. But there you go, Snowa as a reverse and a Weavile as a hollow. I do love the lenticular pattern. Uh, I don't know if it's called lenticular pattern, but it's basically these vertical lines. They create a really nice effect. And I don't know how many people are fans of it, but I really like it. I think it's a very, oh, that is definitely resealed. Isn't that resealed? Oh man, why do I feel like this is resealed? This just like fell apart. I was also looking at a video by Game of Fleet and he also got scammed on chilling rain i remember one of his etbs he also felt like all of his packs were resealed and there you go yeah i'm not expecting a hit here the regular rare even there's something off about this these green code cards like you know the way it like it's bent it's almost as if somebody tried to stuff this in but i don't know what the hell is wrong with this pack like look look at this pack it's all over the place it could just be a factory issue where they sealed it wrong uh because maybe the card got in the way of the seal and it just all got messed up but oh man that's just so disheartening to see all right so galerian articuno artwork i'm hoping that i can at least get a single v i don't know that's literally my hope like just a basic v i'll be happy right now absolutely no hope from chilling pain there's a reason this is called chilling pain we're going into agatha flannery oh i really like flannery i love flannery i'm a pokemon ruby guy and I love all the trainers from Pokemon Ruby. And I don't know why that Blitzer... What, what is wrong? What's up with that Blitzer? Like, what happened to it? Who hurt you, Blitzer? We have a Serena Reverse and... Oh, let's go. Okay. We wanted a V. We got a V. A very basic V. Yeah. That's about it. I think that's the only hit I can expect. Out of all of these nine packs of Chilling Pain. Right? But let's get into it. Let's keep going. Uh, green Code Guard again absolutely no hits this is a trash trash opening let's go water energy fire resistant gloves crab bomb crab bombable okay that is a very convoluted name 
cash form snowy form cash form snowy form okay hatina aaron rals venipede flaffy on the reverse followed by absolutely no hit curse of the green code card let's go into the last three packs of chilling pain absolute brutality there has to be no more hits that tornado's v is the best that i could find and i'm i'm thinking right now it's the best we can hope for look at that look at what is this there's a print line on a common card huh what is this set why do these cards feel so weird in my hand there's something just really off about chilling rain man it just it it never really never really excited me i mean i do love that blaziken i really like blaziken like i said i'm a pokemon ruby guy i started my pokemon journey playing pokemon ruby on the game boy advance the reverse is a rapid strike scroll of the skies followed by a bliss ev in my experience and in all the research i've done i think we have already beaten the odds by getting these two measly vs but yeah i love that blaziken v max i love the artwork i don't know why people think it's mid it's got a nice stance to it green code card again boom we're going to get wrecked on this pack that blaziken v has a very good stance uh it has a very good balance of the composition i'm going to try to put up the card on the screen because i think nothing is going to come out of here so yeah let me just uh quickly run through this melanie and regular rare and if i'm being honest it's a fitting fitting odds like 1 in 864 packs i can see that green code card absolutely nothing chilling pain confirmed let's just run through this really quick we have the energy and the crushing glove honey impact energy shop it squab it sphere swirlix all s's galerian yamask crab roller followed by a regular rare zangoose just pure money down the drain please don't open chilling rain if you have it keep it sealed let's just move into paradox rift now this is from an etb so it's from this etb the iron valiant um version of it which is i guess the future version unlike the chilling rain which was from loose packs and i mean you're already taking a gamble on chilling rain and on top of that those packs being loose i'm pretty happy for even getting those two v's if i'm being honest the reason i'm choosing paradox rift okay this is an interesting one and this might be a hot take right so this is what i feel about paradox rift as somebody who has only played the game and you know till now i've only rip packs and collected cards i'm not really in tune with the actual tcg and the rules and the regulations and how it's played so paradox rift was interesting to me because of the new ancient and future mechanic right so we have thevel reverse horsey reverse for... wait what full art trainer on the first pack oh my god let's go let's go it's it's horribly centered but <laughs> wow beautiful binder piece and yes what i was saying was that i actually got interested in the tcg because of paradox rift cuz i don't know i just I, it just it just sounded cool like what does the ancient and future do for the set you know and and that got me researching and then i went a little deeper and i tried to understand okay how it how it works i even downloaded uh, pokemon tcg live and i'm currently in the process of actually learning the game so mad props to this set like bringing in a new mechanic and you know everybody making content about it on the youtube on youtube it really brought my interest into actually figuring out hey you know what is everybody talking about why is ancient and you know future so interesting uh we have the roark reverse uh nasly reverse for about a groudon let's go pokemon ruby again the pokemon ruby references just don't stop i don't know why but the poison type um texture on the reverse foil is not not texture i would say the shine on it is not that bright and it, there's been many times where i'm i'm not even able to recognize that i have a, a reverse holo foil of a poison type because it's so dull uh, it doesn't even shine on direct light it's just you need to be at a very weird angle to actually see it mind show rega gore geist gower geist gower geist i'll talk about dark type and this is a perfect example right like i don't know if there's no light you really can't see that this is a um reverse hollow octillery follow yo come on come on let's go this etb is awesome again horrible centering but i mean we've already got more value than those 
weird 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 chilling rain packs the way they opened the way they felt the way the court cards were bent everything about that was weird right again if you have chilling rain keep it sealed my friends that's a code card for you guys what pack are we on one two three four five okay so this is the fourth pack only we already have two big hits hits two hits right pretty good for me all new cards i haven't collected any pack docs like i said before this opening i have only opened six packs dude pretty cool pretty cool i do like this design as well i like this um kind of merging of the hollow into the regular card that's how how would they even do that i really I, i'm really interested to figure out how they print that hollow foil that is so interesting to see i love it like it's just a breath of fresh air and i also do want to talk about the upcoming valiant fates guys i've opened a lot of shiny treasures and you know japanese has guarantees you know and everything is done in booster boxes but you know the the real cool thing about pallian fates was the baby shinies and collecting the master set is almost killing me like i've been going at it for the last two two like two months or so and i've like just about reached you know 80 out of 129 baby shinies and i and i really want to complete that master set but it's an expensive master set to complete you know and i don't know how that's going to pan out in the english set you know now we have the joltik reverse very cute artwork absol the exact opposite like a very uh dark artwork followed by a zation so right as i was saying uh it's either going to be super easy to pull everything and then people will get bored of it or it's going to be super super tough and then everything will be about the chase card so it's basically like chilling rain and here's why you see i chose chilling rain i feel okay and this is just me my opinion i feel very strongly and i've said this in my previous video as well i feel that pallian fates is going to be chilling rain but the set that comes out after pallian fates which is temporal forces is going to be the next evolving skies like it's going to appreciate people are going to go crazy about it i feel temporal forces is going to go wild right cuz i mean we all love um the legendary dogs and they have got some beautiful beautiful illustrations for those legendary dogs and then of course all the future cards they are also really really beautifully uh, illustrated and i really love the artist nagimiso and it's all been illustrated by nagimiso that's going to have like the same you know pool of hits as you know evolving skies evolving skies even though we all we all chasing the moon brion right but it still has all the evolution so it gives you a choice it gives you a wide choice of things that you can chase uh whereas you know something like pallian fates like it's just going to be about the zard it's going to be about the mu and it's going to be about the i don't know right so so depending on the pull rates of those three that pallian fates is like a hit or miss like i don't know if it's going to go either really crazy or it's going to absolutely tank and yeah look at this this is so amazing i don't know why i haven't opened more paradox rift but these cards are very very interestingly designed i am absolutely loving this fade i might open a little bit more let's see even though the centering on on this particular batch of cards is really really poor still better than chilling rain that is just pure pure pain deserving title elicid vanillish onyx i really like that vanillish ar as well tinker tink iron bundle ferrothorn cursed duster i i'm also going to start paying more attention to these uh move sets because i think there are some very cool move sets and there are some very interesting move set especially if like now that i'm getting a little bit into the tcg side of things because of paradox rift just trying to learn just trying to see what it's all about so i'm also preparing for all you know the future and ancient versions of temporal forces and again i am very very bullish on temporal forces and trust me my prediction is that temporal forces is going to be the next evolving skies because i feel like paldian fates is basically scarlet and violets chilling rain let's get into the last three cards of this opening with the swablu who's flying free free as a bird mantaik who's swimming free free as a i don't know what is this a ray stingray followed by oh there's a hit there's a hit in 3 2 1 oh skeletor gx cool uh there was a lot of texture on the bottom over there so i thought it was something more but hey that's a very cool looking card i mean uh the ex is also pretty good in this set uh let's just have a look at all the hits uh i picked up first pack magic 
Mela Full Art. Right? That's a very nice hit. Good pickup. The Serena EX. The... Oh, why is the Iron Juggler still? Okay, you know what? We're going to give the Iron Juggler some love because this is the first time I noticed uh, this hollow bleed pattern and I really loved it. Uh, followed by the Magby AR. Is this the AR? Is an art rare? Uh, cute little Magby just chilling in a pool of lava, you know. Not a care in the world, just whistling away. And then we got a couple EXs. This is pretty cool. Uh, new EXs for me. I really like the texture on the Skeledurge. And something about this... Um, artwork in the set is really really nice but there you go this has been chilling paradox make sure you leave a like if you want to see more of this content thank you so much for your time i'll see you guys in the next one till then happy hunting